Hi, I'm Anissa Branas, and let's talk about TerraShield today. TerraShield is the so-called outdoor blend by doTERRA. And why is it called the outdoor blend? Well, of course, because it's perfect to use outdoors. It's uh, one of those oil blends that insects really don't enjoy. It has in there cedar wood. It has nutka, arborvitae, lemongrass, lemon eucalyptus, a little bit of vanilla, and ylang-ylang. So most mosquitoes and bugs, they just don't like the smell of TerraShield. And what's interesting, ticks also don't like it. And it doesn't smell. When you open up the bottle uh, of TerraShield, you expect it to smell like, you know, those harsh insect sprays that you get to buy in, you know, most drugstores. And it really actually has a lovely smell. Like it's a lovely aroma. It's a little bit flowery. I've known people who use this as their personal perfume. And by the way, it's already pre-diluted. So it has a base of fractionated coconut oil. So it's very gentle to the skin. So you can also use it on your kids. Always, if you want to, of course, you can dilute additionally, but I found that most really um, don't feel the need to. So the Terra Shield is ideally for humans and animals. What I love to do is um, to use it on my dogs when I was especially in the springtime when we were out walking and you know it was tick season like the hate of tick season and that's when I noticed the biggest difference because before I walked my dogs I you know put like two or three drops not even a, like a whole lot just two or three drops did it uh, between the palms of my hands rubbed them and then rubbed it on their legs their belly um, behind their ears and then just, you know, walked outside. Because if I put it on and we stayed in the house, I could tell, you know, it was not so pleasant for the dogs, but outside they didn't have any issues with it. Uh, and when I got home after applying it, I rarely found a tick on the dog. Maybe sometimes a tick that was, you know, kind of crawling around, not sure where to bite because it felt so yucky to the tick, obviously. But if I didn't apply the Terra Shield, I had to pick off ticks like us, oh, so many of them of my dogs and they 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 were biting much faster if i didn't apply the terror shield so i think it really grossed them out to be honest and of course i like to apply it to myself especially um on my legs even sometimes on my pants and you can use it in a diffuser to repel some mosquitoes if you're sitting outside or just you know ladder yourself in it i mean don't overdo it but uh just a few drops usually will do the trick what you can do is combine it with some additional cedar wood or citronella because, you know, citronella is very well known to repel, especially mosquitoes, but a lot of different mosquitoes. And I think even a lot of flies and again, ticks don't like citronella. Um, I think it's already in there, but you can, you know, put a little bit of additional citronella in there if you, especially if you like the, the, the smell. Other than that, I like uh, Terra Shield. I would always have it with me if I'm, you know, out camping, hiking. As I said, it's very gentle. Uh, I also use it for sprays, like fly sprays for my horses. Oftentimes, I do combine a few other oils into it, but most mostly because I make big bottles of it, so I just don't want to dump want to dump a whole bottle of Terra Shield in, but just a few drops of Terra Shield, a few drops of cedar wood, citronella. Um, Arborvitae is another great one, um, but for myself, I'm usually safe with the Terra Shield um, alone. And as I said, it has this pleasant smell. And what I find, um, it's not only repelling insects, but think about it uh, like the energy of things. Uh, insects that come and you know suck the blood, you know, your light blood out of you. It's it also works on energies. So if there are people, situations that you feel like Oh, drain you, you know, take essence out of you, try to apply Terra Shield. You know, wherever you feel this right way, you can put it on your chakras or you can just, you know, rub it into your aura, which I understand is a little bit woo woo for some people, but try it out. Before you judge it, just try it out. You know, rub it into your aura, which feels interesting. You, you will be able to feel it, I think, and see what happens. See if this oil is able to ward off some bad moods, bad energies that aren't your own, especially. So yeah, I'm excited to hear your experiences with Terra Shield and how you like it. As I said, it doesn't smell like an insect repellent that you usually are used to. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye-bye.